A is positive, B is negative. This is for RS-485. This DVR happens to have a separate alarm block. Depending on the model of your DVR, it may or may not have it. But all of our DVRs have A positive and B negative. So now, in order to connect the PTZ to my RS-485 on the back of the DVR, I'm going to take the positive and negative wires. So this is the stripe one being positive, and I'm going to connect them in here to the A and B ports on the back of the DVR. The A is positive, B is negative. So all I need to do is just push the orange portion in and then slide this wire in. I'm trying to do this on video with a pair of pliers and you're trying to see what I'm exactly doing. It's kind of hard, but it should be a secure connection. If your wire comes out just like that, that means you don't have a secure connection. So now I've got my wire connected and if I pull on it, it's not coming out easily. So that means it's a good taut connection and secure. Make sure your wires are in like that, otherwise you're going to have issues with um, transmission of serial data over your RS-485. Every little detail here, it's very crucial in making sure your PTZ works successfully. Despite, besides just the uh, video and power connections, to actually be able to move the PTZ requires a proper connection on the RS-485. So I'm pulling on these a little bit and they're not coming out which is a good sign, so I've got good connections here. Now I'm gonna plug my camera back into power. So here my OSD menu tells me that I have on protocol auto ID of five and COM of 2400. So all I need to do is basically go into main menu, log in, the default username and password is the same. The user and password are the same for, so for example, if you have an 88 user, the password is 68. Admin user, password is admin. And then uh, you need to go to your PTZ settings. In this case, I have my camera connected on channel one. I can see that being here on cam one on the left-hand side. And what I'm gonna do is go to system and go to PTZ. And on channel one, I need to set PTZ type to be local, control mode to be serial, protocol to be Pelco D. And then the address, this is the address that was showing up when the camera booted up. And it was 005 or as, as five. And then the baud rate was 2400 and everything else I'm going to leave alone and then hit apply, save. Now I'm, I'm going to right click and exit out and all I'm going to do is right click and go to um, PTZ. And now I will be able to move my PTZ at command. So if your PTZ happens to be moving too fast, you can change the speed to one or two and then try then. And then it'll move in smaller increments. And then here the zoom, zoom and the focus allow you to basically zoom in and out. And there are other features that are will be uh, you can explore on your own, but uh, here you can see that also it tells you what is the um, uh, zoom level your camera is currently at. 